Well, hi everyone. Alex from The Next Tea. I'm the owner and editor-in-chief of UntilTheNextTea.com, which is soon to be The Next Tea. I'm dropping the until. So head over there to the website and check out what's going on in the golf industry. Everything from press releases to golf reviews and editorials. Before I continue, I just want to ask everyone to hit that like and subscribe button down below and uh, follow along here. You know, it's much appreciated. Uh, anyone who takes the time out to see what I have to say, I, I appreciate it and I sincerely mean that. So today's, pro today's product review uh, that I'm doing here on YouTube is a product that has proven to be very, very practical, uh, pretty darn durable, and a product that just makes a ton of sense. So if you live in northern climes or even say the Pacific Northwest where you can golf, you know, this time of the year can be pretty challenging uh, from keeping your golf ball clean. Um, yes, we can use a wet towel, you know, or damp a towel with some water. But the thing is, the conditions, uh, you know, wind, even when it gets warm out, it'll dry out that towel. So then you're back to square one having nothing to clean your golf ball with. You know, or we can do what I'm sure many of us have done. We take our thumb, put it in our mouth, and we wipe off the golf ball. The only thing with that is, well, now you've basically put herbicides, pesticides, fertilizer, and God knows what else into your mouth. I mean, and dirt too, right? I mean, dirt, I mean, it doesn't taste good. It tastes like dirt. Yeah, dirt. So... Clean golf balls can be a challenge. So you can do those things, but you don't have to. Uh, there's a product out there. It's called the Clean Flight Golf Personal Golf Ball Washer. The inventor is Peter Bolander. And he's actually from an area nearby here. He uh, lives about an hour and a half away from St. Catharines, Ontario, which is where I am. And uh, his product, like I say, is a personal golf ball washer. So it is the perfect product to use, whether it's early in the season, late in the season, when, when everything's winding down for the year, you know, that, that wet time of the year. Uh, and of course, through the pandemic. Of course, with the pandemic, you know, I like to say that out of necessity comes invention. And that is the case with, with this item. Back when this whole thing began, you know, especially in 2020, the spring of 2020, a lot of places, a lot of, you know, regions, countries, you weren't allowed to be near a golf course. Uh, you couldn't go play. If you played, you're risking fines. And again, maybe that was just where I live in the province of Ontario. Um, but bas but basically, you know what, you, you couldn't play golf. Everything was shut down. You know, we were on lockdown. Um, eventually the NGCOA or National Golf Course Owners Association got together and figured out a way to lobby the government, you know, to reopen golf courses, to allow operations to commence. And part of that was a list of protocols. That ranged from, oh God, it ranged from, you know, solo riders on carts to, you know, being six feet behind each other, waiting to go into a pro shop, you know, that kind of stuff. And among those things was also the fact that you had to remove all golf ball washers and rakes from the golf courses. So now, you know, you have the issue of, well, how do I keep my golf ball clean? And, uh, yeah, like I say, you know, there's the wet towel thing. There's licking it, licking your finger and, and cleaning off the golf ball. But playing for like golf, the personal golf ball washer is another possible way to go. And I think it's a recommended way to go, actually. So, spoiler alert, it tested very well. And I like this product. Um, so, what we have here is a towel mug sized, high impact, uh polyurethane plastic. I think it's polyurethane, but anyways, uh, um, it's a high impact plastic uh, that is constructed very well and very smartly. 
it's the size of a travel mug. And you're gonna notice, you might not be able to see it. Oh, maybe like that. You're, you're gonna see that sort of kind of tapered just a little bit. There's a reason for that in the design. And that is simply, this will fit on any golf cart in a cup, in a, in a golf cart, or blah, a cup holder in any golf cart. And you can take it anywhere. So if you're a walker, you can let, you can latch this onto your golf bag with this caribbeaner. And uh, anyways, you know, we're gonna get into the fine point, of, finer points of this, but you can really take this anywhere and have clean golf balls without contaminating yourself or others, you know, spreading germs. And we're not talking just COVID type stuff here. We're talking just in general. Um, so this goes on any golf cart or any golf bag, uh, whether it's a push cart or a riding cart. So when you open up the box, you have everything that you need. You have, of course, the receptacle itself, which is right here. You have a cribner for attaching to your golf bag, your golf cart, or whatever that you use. You have some cleanser. And all you do with this is you fill it with water up to about here, which is what I've already done. You lift it up and you put insert the ball just like you would into a regular golf ball washer. I spy with my little eye. Um, so you just throw it in there and as in the golf ball and you just work the action up, up and down. Inside, I've already put in a couple drops of the, uh, of the cleaner, but you're gonna see brushes and these were specially developed so the golf ball would oscillate and twist inside. Uh, so of course, the golf ball gets clean. It, it's a it's a thorough job. Like it does a great great job. Um, and with the cleaner, if you have the water in there, you just put a couple drops in, and that's all you need. And you just like I say, you just wash your golf ball. Like here's the ball here. You know, just a couple couple quick strokes. You know, three or four. I don't know, and it just comes out. You know, and this is an old beat up golf ball. Um, I've actually tested it with some golf balls that actually had the mud caked right onto it. Uh, and, and I'm talking like dry, like golf balls that I found because I wanted to, te to test it. And it had no problem remov removing all the old dry clay from, from the golf ball. Uh, Peter Bollinger has a great product here. It makes a lot of sense. It's less. It's less than $40 Canadian. Uh, so I don't know what that is in American funds. I think it's around, gonna be around 30 American for, for this, maybe less. Um, but it's a great product, it's ingenious, it's practical, and it can make a difference. Um, as far as durability goes, I'm not sure about the brushes, how long they'll last, because I haven't had a chance to test it. Even though I've tested it a lot, I think it'll take a lot of time for the brushes to wear out, so I would be safe in assuming you know, a suggestion that the brushes are gonna be in fact very durable. Um, as far as the durability of the receptacle itself, um, I would also say that it's gonna be very durable. I mean, it held up to minus 20 weather outside uh, with a full receptacle. It didn't break or anything, so that's a good sign. And again, it's, it's, it's built well. You know, you have stainless steel, parts here as well so it's not going to rust or anything and more importantly it's not gonna it's not gonna leak so say you put your clubs in the back of your uh, truck or your in your trunk and it flips upside down you're not gonna have a wet trunk or a wet seat so you know it's 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 been a great product and I just like how practical it is so be sure to check out clean flight golf at cleanflightgolf.com and be sure to head over to the next tee to check out more golf reviews, editorials, press releases, and so on. So until I come back to you, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next tee.